What's happening everybody? Welcome to the channel. On this video we're gonna talk about the graph. This project that actually popped up on CoinGecko.com today and went straight to position 61 so far gaining 116%. So why this project is getting attention? We're gonna understand this on this video. We're gonna talk about the graph and before that I'm going to show you a forum that I'm creating. I am developer. I'm creating this forum called Ativo.finance. It's a forum for the crypto community. We have a Web3 or Ethereum integrated on this forum so you can tip people with a MetaMask. You can send whatever Ethereum you would like to send. And I recommend you to take a look and start participating. So the graph, why it's been on my radar for a while I've been following this and since it got listed on Coinbase, I decided to actually dollar cost average in on this project. I'm not sure if you're familiar with a GraphQL, which is a new API, uh, newer than Rust and other older types of API that's gotten a lot of attention. And the graph is basically a way for you to query blockchain using GraphQL. So it's an indexer that's going to help you to query data easily, more friendly and uh, without having to code so much and more efficient too. Because GraphQL, it was developed by Facebook, if you don't know, and it's getting popular and popular among the developers. And this is a tool that will be very well needed and used for a lot of projects. It's actually already been used by a few DeFi projects that are pretty popular, like Compound, Uniswap, and Decentraland. You might not be familiar with all these projects, but uh, I can give you a little introduction. Compound is a traditional like finance type of uh, tools that provides uh, this lending, and borrowing in a decentralized way. Uniswap is, is a decentralized exchange of the most popular one. And the central land is a metaverse. It's like a virtual world. It's pretty neat. So all these companies are already using it. See here, Decentraland, Uniswap, Synthetics, have most of the popular um, DeFi projects are involved with this one. This actually already shows me how important this project is. Let's take a look at the token, right? So if you click on the, the graph, um, actually it's, the price is volatile right now, but uh, no, actually it didn't change. It was just a percentage that changed. There's a uh, 10 coins. It's a lot of coins, right? But this is not really uncommon in, uh, in the crypto space. If you go to CoinGecko, you notice like the XRP, for example, has 100 trillion coins max supply, right? So with uh, 45 trillion coins already circulating, uh, comparing to the graph, it has 10 coins max supply, the max there will be in circulation ever, and circulating right now 1 to 100, which is like almost 40x less than like XRP and uh, 10x in max supply less than max XRP. So it, its value is 26 cents comparing to XRP as 50, 55 cents, right? So you can kind of have an idea that this project actually can go up in price. I think that's uh, pretty clear by kind of looking into that. So the graph, right? So the graph is supporting already Ethereum, IPFS, and the POA network, which is uh, XDAI. If you're not familiar with XDAI, uh, I recommend you to take a look at XDAI. It's getting pretty popular, this project. And it's been used as the testing layer for Ethereum, but a testing layer with value, which is pretty interesting. On the graph, you will see that there are sub subgraphs. And each subgraph is basically maintained by its own project. Let's go take a look and explore those subgraphs. 
See, ENS, Compound, Uniswap. Let's take a look at Uniswap, for example. Okay, so I have a playground here. And here's an example of a query, right? So the graph you have those, so the subgraph for Uniswap is like an indexer. That's pretty much gonna uh, watch that uh, smart contract for Uniswap. So on the left, you have the query that you're gonna make to the indexer. Like what's your question? What data you wanna get from the indexer? Uh, on the right, you have the schema. It's probably reading the smart contracts and get the information like what you can get from the smart contract. So here's an example, right? So you're running this function, you know, Uniswap factories, factory, I think that's what it is. Pair count, total volume in US. So this is one thing you, you wanna get. So ID, pair count, total volume USD in, in dollar. And then another one is tokens. You have first five, it's like just get the first five response. You don't get, otherwise you get too much data. So tokens, get the last, uh, the first five tokens, the ID, the symbol of the token, the name and the decimals of the token. If I run this, here's you get the response. So it's actually getting first data here, you get tokens, it's response from these tokens. So we have the she, it's from one inch this, uh, exchange, true SD, da, uh, Dharma Dai, gas token. And then here's the Uniswap, Uniswap factories response from this. So this is very efficient, very good tool for developers. So you get a response in, in JSON. This is actually looks like JSON, but it's not JSON. It's a, a query uh, GraphQL language, actually. <laughs> it's its own language, but the response, it's, it is in a JSON. So you get the information you need, exactly the information you need, right? So this is, without the GraphQL, you have to do this work. It's a lot of uh, coding to get to this point it's gonna make developers' life much more efficient. So it's, this is a tool that's really, really needed for blockchain. I would compare it to like Chainlink. Uh, if, you're, if you don't know Chainlink, you should look into that too. Uh, Chainlink is a tool, it's a blockchain tool that will allows you to connect a blockchain application to the outside world. A blockchain application cannot talk to like a regular API and Chainlink makes that, that connection between uh, the blockchain and regular APIs, any type of uh, REST API or something like that. So this is how I think this project will get um, popular because it is this is very, very needed and this will be used a lot, I think. So yes, I'm bullish on this project. I plan to dollar cost average in. I could have bought everything yesterday when it first came out, but I don't know what the price will be. So it's, it's still in price discovery, right? So I bought some right away because I like the project. I got like two tenths of uh, how much I want to spend on this project and I'll keep buying. If it falls, if the price falls, I'll keep buying it. So yeah, that's what I had to share today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and I'll see you next time.